the battle of the dueling Davids, Cook and Archuleta. After weeks of competition, we'll find out tonight which David will win American Idol. Fox News' Randy Naughton is in L.A. where they're gearing up for the finale. She's spending the day on the red carpet rubbing elbows with the stars. Randy caught up with last year's third place runner-up and hometown girl, Melinda Doolittle. You know, I went into last night thinking, David Cook has got this. And then David Archuleta let us have it. And I'm like, what in the world? Wait a minute. That's coming from a Missouri girl. You're supposed to... Come on. I know it, but I was I told myself I was going to go by, you know, just strictly performances and all that, you know, just I was going to get it together and then I watched last night and got so confused cuz they were both amazing and I'm like, "Ah." Well, Linda says when it comes to American Idol, both Davids have already won. Find out who snags the Idol crown during tonight's 2-hour finale starting at 7 right here on Fox 2. The judges may have been a little harsh on David Cook last night, but we know one camp where he is still number one. You bet. That's his hometown of Blue Springs near Kansas City. Fox 2's Sean Conroy is live at a David Cook watch party. And Sean, you talked to his music teacher today. What did you find out? Well, they're all pretty excited here, Sandy. There's no doubt about this. They call this behind me the brand new KC Power and Light Entertainment District, and it will certainly be electric tonight as hundreds, if not thousands, are expected to watch the show downtown here on the big screen. And there's still them, still plenty of them confident that they will all be leaving here very, very happy. Speaking of happy, that's what grade schoolers at Thomas Ultikin School have been for weeks now. The Blue, Sc- Blue Springs Grade School is where David Cook first fell in love with it's music in Friedland Gentry's classrooms, where she can truly claim to be Cook's first fan. She has taught thousands of children music, but says David Cook was always one of them that stood out in memory. Now, he returned to the school during a visit a week and a half ago and gave this music teacher the greatest gift of all. Two little words, thank you, that meant the world to her. Get this, though, several aspiring songwriters have asked the school to get songs to David Cook, just part of the craziness that have filled that school, that suburb, in this part of the state. So, um, by the way, something to add here. Mrs. Gentry, born in St. Louis, raised in Maplewood. So I guess David Cook's musical roots, in a way, stretch back to St. Louis. Okay, it's a stretch, but we'll take it, right? Will he take it? Well, we'll find out tonight. We'll be here for the results and the reaction. Live in downtown Kansas City, Sean Conroy, Fox 2 News. All right, and Randy Naughton is in the Nokia Theater right now getting ready for the big announcement. She's going to have all the idle inside gossip and results live at 9.30.